In the middle of Al's Jurassic world is a vast salt lake. Its crystalline white crust formed by the retreat of an ancient sea. Occasionally its shores see the movement of herds of dinosaurs. These are Diplodocus, heading for a nesting site to the south. It is a grim journey for these mighty creatures, and the heat and lack of drinking water weeds out the weaker animals. Predators know this. Predators like Al. He is now five years old, and although he is nine meters long, he is not yet fully grown. Al is an experienced hunter, but the herd itself presents a formidable barrier to predators. Still, Al is not the only predator stalking the herd. They can all smell that one of the Diplodocus is in a very bad way. The predators are getting impatient. They need to break up the herd and isolate the weakling. sick Diplodocus far behind. The Allosaurus gather for the feast. However, even a sick and exhausted Diplodocus is a fearsome adversary. Built for speed, Al is frequently wounded in such situations, but he cannot afford to let this slow him down. The competition is too intense. The other carnivores hold back and wait for time and the heat to finish the giant herbivore. After several hours, heat exhaustion and his illness bring the Diplodocus to his knees. Predators finally get their reward. Although there is enough meat here for weeks, there is an urgency in their feeding. The smell of blood will soon bring others, and every Allosaurus wants to eat its fill. Within the hour, a gigantic female Allosaurus appears out of the haze. She is about twice the weight of the other Allosaurus and four meters longer. Quickly she establishes her dominance. 
When predators get to her size, they rarely have to bring down their own food. They just scavenge other kills. Owl tries to find a safer place to eat. 